Hello everyone, what is going on? My name is Zach, and today I'm going to be talking about a pretty cool topic. It's actually a story about the time I got, uh, my house got robbed, but right there, that was a collateral. What's up, bro? Alright, so that was a pretty nice collateral. But, before we start with the topic, I'm going to say, I'm going to be telling you what I am using on my gun. I am using the DSR with FMJ and the ballistic CPU. I haven't been doing any, uh, I haven't been doing any sniper gameplays yet, but I, this is my first one. So, another thing before we start is I am helping my grandparents move tomorrow, and I may be getting enough money to get an H Roxio HD Pro. If I get that, I will be so all stoked because my videos won't look all poopy in quality anymore. So, yeah, that would be so sweet. So, my topic today. So, today I will talk about a life story. It's what the time that my house got robbed. So, yeah. Actually, I, before we start that, I want to say that I finished this game with about a 2KD. A little over 2KD, but, you know, whatever. I just need, I, I wanted a sniper gameplay, and I needed a video to post today. And I have one more to post later today. Alright. So, starting on the topic. So, it, I was in the 6th grade, and taking it back a few weeks before, I was over at a friend's house. This is a four, few weeks before it happened. I was over at a friend's house, and... This red car pulled up in the driveway. It was a red van, and it basically said like, meat, meat, uh, selling, selling meat, and it had like a number on it. It was a minivan, like a Grand Caravan, and it was basically saying that they were selling like steak and meat. So they came and knocked on my friend's door, and his parents answered the door, and they were just like, "Hey, you want to buy some steaks or something?" It was really weird. So, I didn't really think anything of it at the time, but, um, it was about two weeks later, I was coming, I had a, no, I went to school, I was in the sixth grade, like I said, I went to school, I had a normal day at school, uh, just normal, and I came home, I was on the bus ride home, and my parents weren't home, I think they were doing something, they were, they were somewhere else, as I get my triple feed, I would've got the quad if I would've hit this guy right here, but, sorry about that, getting off topic, so, my parents are out doing something, and they weren't home, but my grandparents were gonna come over, about, like, an hour after I got home, and, so I, I get home, and there's the same car on my driveway, as I saw a couple weeks ago at my friend's house, so I'm like, alright, well, that's kinda weird, so, uh, I go up, and I get off the bus, and I start walking, uh, I walk up the driveway, we have a gate in front, it's like a horse gate kind of thing, and so, it's, we live on a farm, so I open up, I open the gate, walk in, and the guy rolls down his window, and he goes, hey bud, how you doing? I'm like, um, I'm okay, what's going on? And he goes, oh, well, um, we're taking a, we're working on the roof inside, and there was just some." Or working, they just basically said well, we're working. There's a guy inside working on the roof. He'll be out in a minute. So I didn't think of anything about it at the time. But then I look at the car and I was like, "This is where I screwed up in theater." I'm sorry about this real quick thing. So I was like, I looked at the car. I go, "Wait a second. This is the same car that was in here. That was the one selling the meat." I was so I was kind of confused. Uh, I thought maybe they were just in that car for some odd reason. And so, I, uh, I start walking up the driveway, and I get up onto the porch, and the guy comes out, he has a clipboard in his hand, and a pencil behind his ear, and he's like, sup, bud? So I'm like, alright, well, maybe this, maybe this is actually legit. So I, they leave, they, he, the guy, right the second the guy gets in the car, they, like, dart. So I was like, well, this is kind of weird. So... I go in, and, what is going on, okay, well, sorry, uh, so I go in, and, uh, I go in, 
so I just walk up the porch and so I go in and I go up to the door all right excuse me so I go up to the door and I go to open it and it like won't open and I'm like what is going on and I thought it might be locked no it wasn't locked I look and the little latch part like when you open your door when you turn the knob that latch that goes into the little slot that's what she said the the um the thing that moves back and forth when you t twist the doorknob, it was, like, broken off and, like, dangling. It was, like, jammed in between. And I was like, all right, well, something's going on. Uh, so, basically, what they did is they kicked the door or something or pulled it or pushed it really hard. And it broke because it it's, like, an old farm door kind of thing. And so, it apparently didn't like that and it broke uh, it screwed up pretty bad so I finally get in I'm like pulling on the door and I finally get in and so I'm like alright I'm just gonna wait for my grandparents to get here and I'm gonna act like everything's normal <laughs> and so they get here and they're like well what happened to the door I'm like I don't know there's I was like I don't know nothing really and they were like, well, something seems wrong. What's going on? I'm like, nothing, nothing. I didn't want to tell them anything. Because my, knowing my grandparents, they were going to, like, flip out. Because my grandma was, like, really worried, worrisome. So I was like, all right, you know what? I'm, not, I'm just not going to say anything. So my mom goes home, gets home about an hour later. And the first thing I'm like, I'm like, was there people supposed to come to look at the roof today? And she goes, uh, no. <laughs> And I go, oh, shit. So, she goes, uh, no, why? I'm like, because, I was like, because I got home from school, and there was these guys, and they said they were inside looking at the roof, and then it hit me. <laughs> why would they be inside looking at the roof? So then I was like, all right, well, this is pretty sketchy. So my mom, she is, <laughs> she's actually, like, pretty scared. And she's like, well, what happened? And I told her the story. And she was like, okay, I'm just going to call the police department. And I'm going to have them come down here. And we're going to see what's going let's, let's, let's see what you can do. So she calls the police department. And they come down. And they tell me just to tell them what happened, what the guys look like, all the normal stuff. Um, so we basically explain to them. And they say, well, there's been a couple cases of this happening around here and there's people have seen these guys before and so I went upstairs my I was in the t I when I came home I just went to the living room start watching TV I go upstairs and all my drawers are open like everything's open I actually had like a bunch of money in a jar in a corner of my room and they didn't see it apparently so that was good they didn't take anything um thankfully but so um the police were like, all right, well, we're going to try to catch these guys. Um, thanks for the report. Um, they, and they were like, well, uh, do you have the doorknob? Is the doorknob still there? But no, my grandpa thought it would be a genius idea to reattach it. So they did, they couldn't, like, get any DNA or anything like that. So it's about a week later, and my parents' friend, David, he calls my parents and he's like um well I just got home from work and I went to my backyard and there was these guys in the same car and they were sitting in the backyard looking up like at my house he said I went in there and I started I was like what are you guys doing and they took off running so what ended up happening was he was trying to get, they were basically trying to rob a bunch of people around us. And so everything turned out fine. Everything, nothing was stolen. My mom had a bunch of jewelry and a box in her drawer and it actually didn't get stolen. So that's basically it. And everything turned out fine. Nothing got stolen. Everybody's fine. Nobody got hurt. And yes, they did end up catching the guys. So, yeah, it ended up well. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this story. And always, always remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And enjoy the rest of this video. 
There's about 30 seconds left, so peace out, guys. See you later.